Hello YouTube, um, we're going to be covering our first item today. So there's two videos of items, there's um, a basic item and there's also a little bit more advanced which will use a Techni model. So uh, to start off, um, we need to import our texture. So go to item and block texture we'll load it from our desktop or wherever your um, wherever you have your image and use item no rain all right exit and now we're going to create the mod or element so uh, we're going to call it item no rain. And we're going to select item. Now, we're not going to cover the render type today. That's for the um, custom item. I think that's what I'm calling it. Uh, let's see. Yes, we're calling it a custom item tutorial. So we're just going to import our texture that we just loaded. And we're gonna call it um, rain b gone. All right, and we're gonna. So, well, before we do anything, um, this basically is like special information. It's um, located under the item. It's similar to a tool when it's been enchanted. It will list the enchantments on it. Um, basically the same thing. So that's all that is. Um, next, we have to fill in our GUI name. Now, a GUI name, if you haven't watched the uh, basic block tutorial, is a name that is shown in Minecraft. Your element name isn't shown. Um, that first name that we named it. So, but this one is. It's um, when you hover over the item with your in your hotbar, and it will tell you what kind of thing you're holding. Now that's what the name in GUI stands for. So let's call it Rain. All right, and we're gonna put it under miscellaneous. Um, so your creative tab is basically the tab, your item or block or whatever you're putting in a creative inventory uh, tab. Basically, it's where your item will be found in creative. Uh, stack size, can this item stack up to how many? Like, how many can it stack up to? Uh, 64 is the maximum. Um, we're going to just say, well, we only want it one to stack ones. So the next thing is enchantability. How, if it's enchanted, how um, rare are the enchantments? Um, we're going to leave that at zero. Next one is maximum usage dur duration. Now, if you are making it to more similar to a tool, which I'm going to be doing, um, you want to uh, set this to, say, maximum usage. Um, Let's go Let's go 8. Now that's going to be the same as item damage count. So we're going to type that as well. Um, now it it is a tool that we're using, so it will be under 2 or greater. Um, can destroy any block. Um, this 
basically means can it destroy bedrock or any block that is similar to bedrock. Um, any blocking game, can it destroy it? Does it item stay in crafting grid? Now, um, if you leave it in the crafting grid and exit out of the GUI of the crafting grid, it will stay in the crafting grid. Um, spawn in chest. So, check this box if you want it to spawn in, say, the bonus chest or dungeon chest, mine mine shaft, um, mine carts, dungeon chests, um, dispensers, containers, like there's a whole list of them right here. So, um, the first one is the maximum on how many, what are the maximum chance of you finding it in the chest and the, the, uh, The this the one next to it is the minimum chance of you f finding it in the chest. So, it, how many could possibly and how many stacks are that spawn in? So, um, I'm gonna expand this now. So, the next one can drop as grass seed. Now, this is ten is normal, five is um, rare, but not. I, w I would say rare, but yeah, rare. Okay, yeah, rare. And um, one is equals very rare. So that's basically if you want it to drop grass seed, or I think it does other seeds. It might, it might not. It doesn't say it does, so it might not. All right. So now we have our um, all that covered. Next, we're going to set an event, and we're going to say execute command, and then without slash, we're going to say um, weather clear. And add event. And then we're going to damage item one at event. Now to craft it, I'm thinking water bucket or empty water bucket. Um, So something like that, and it has eight uses, and it will craft one of them. So maybe, 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 maybe. Um, because it's just weather. Make it a little more expensive to craft. All right, so uh, you could export the um, the texture by clicking that button, or you can move on to the finish. And I will be back, and I'll show you in game. All right, so I'm in game, and we have this item that. Apparently, I don't have permission to use, but we're going to ignore that for the moment. So, and we're going to get out of the game. Now. And we'll look at that. It was used once, used twice, used three times, used four times, used five times, used six times, used seven times, used eight times, and nine, it broke. 
So it is um, an item with purpose. Um, it does have a crafting recipe, so I'll show you the crafting recipe. And bingo. And again, just to show you. Even though it says I don't have permission, it still does it. Alright, so that was that. And um, if you enjoyed my videos, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.